Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to Math Unlocked, where I get to offer you strategies for teaching math for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I'm the creator of McCarthy Math Academy, and I am on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you so that you can get out there and support the students that you work with. In today's episode, we'll be breaking down a fourth grade skill involving multiplication, We'll have two digits times two digits, and I'm going to show you one, two, three different strategies. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. Here we are with two digit multiplication. So we have the number, the factor right here. We have a factor of 34 and a factor of 27. We are multiplying factors times factors to equal the product. We're trying to figure out what that might be. All right, I'm going to throw, I'm going to try to throw as much as I can at you today with this one. So you can see here, we're going to be working with standard algorithm, area model, and partial products. I will show you three different strategies for solving this problem. Now, here's the thing. Students, they tend to get really overwhelmed with all the different strategies, but our jobs as educators is to help them find and discover a strategy that works for them, that they can use and master and execute every single time and have their, and be able to provide mathematical reasoning to support their journey of how they got to the right answer, okay? So while I am going to show you three strategies, I really, really encourage you to really focus on having your students individually choose the one that works for them. And then if you're a teacher, you can still bring all those strategies in there because the cool thing is, even though I'm about to show you three different strategies, each one should arrive at the same answer, okay? We're just gonna take a different journey to get there. Now in fourth grade, we hope that they have mastered their multiplication facts, right? That they can easily say, oh, four times seven is 28. That is our hope. That would be awesome and amazing, but we know if you're a teacher and you've been teaching for even one year, <laughs> you know that a lot of students still struggle with mastery. So what I'm gonna do is connect one of my multiplication songs. It's called the Multiplication Mashup. I'll link it in the notes below. So I'm going to show you in this episode how to use the Multiplication Mashup song to help your students cross that bridge of, I know how to figure out what four times seven is, but it might take me a minute to four times seven is 28, okay? Um, before we even get started though, the very first thing that I would encourage you to do is to always start with estimation. We're going to estimate this to find a reasonable product. So when we get to our actual product, we can compare it to our estimation and see if we're even close. Because if we're not, if we're way off, we might need to go back in and look, okay? All right, here we go. So first step is estimation. So 34 would be between 30 and 40. It's closer to 30. 27 would be between 20 and 30. It's closer to 30. Um, three times three is nine. So 30 times 30 is 900. So our, est our product should be close to our estimation of 900. All right, let's start with standard algorithm. Standard algorithm is a way that I learned how to multiply back in school. I'm gonna star it because it's a way that typically when they get into fifth grade, sixth grade, this is going to be the way that, that most teachers are going to take them through, okay? So it is important that they have seen this and that they get going with it, okay? So standard algorithm, what we need to do is line up our digits. So we have 34, we have 27. Now what we're gonna do is multiply the seven times the four and the seven times the 30. Seven times four would be, I'm gonna use the multiplication mashup here. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. All right, so 28. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing dude. Now, what did I just do here? This is to help students remember to regroup their multi-digit numbers. So we have two tens here that needs to go right above 
And I circle it because we're going to add it in a second. We're performing a different operation. It feels like we're doing a lot of multiplication, but when we circle it, it's a reminder to our brains that we're doing something different. We're going to be adding this number. All right. And then I said, nice landing, dude, because we're bringing that other digit down. All right. Now we're multiplying seven times 30. I'm going to go ahead and say seven times three, though, to get there. So seven times three would be, uh, I'll use the seven song. It goes like seven, 14, 21, 21 plus the two is 23. So because we are, we don't have any more digits to regroup with, we'll bring that down. And now I instruct students to cross out, erase, and place a zero. Cross out the seven because we're finished with it. Erase your regroupies up there hanging out and place a zero in the ones place. Why are we doing that? Because now we're saying this two right here is not just a two, it has a value of 20. We're moving and we're not working with the ones anymore, we're working with a 10. So we put a zero there to hold the place, as some people say. Okay, so now two times four, that would be two, four, six, eight, all right, and then two times three is two, four, six. All right, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and add up those two partial products that we have there. Notice I just said partial products. We're gonna cover that over here too. We have part of the product and we need to add them together to get the total product. So eight ones plus zero ones is eight. Three tens plus eight tens would be 11 tens. Woo, it's high up here, nice landing dude. And 100 plus 200s plus 600s would be 900s. So our product is 918, okay? That is probably the closest to what you may have learned in school when you learned how to multiply two digits times two digits. There are two other strategies though that I wanna present. One is called the area model, so we're gonna move on to that one next. So what we're doing with the area model is we're making little boxes and we're breaking it down. So right here we have 34. We're going to break that down into 30 and four. Then on the side we have 27. We will break that down into 20 plus seven. And then what we do is just where we have the pluses, we draw lines, okay? I'm gonna zoom this in just a little bit so you can see it. I don't know why I made it so tiny for you, but there it is zoomed in. Okay, so now what we do is we figure out the product for each box, each separate box. So starting here, we in this box, we will have 20 times 30. Well, we know that two times three is what? Six, right? And since we have a zero in the 20 and a zero in the 30, we're multiplying by multiples of 10, we can just turn that into 600. All right, so now let's figure out what the product of this box is. So where they meet would be 20 and four. If we bring them together, 20 times four. So we know that two times four is eight. So 20 times four is 80. Moving on now to this box. So that would be seven times 30. We know that seven times thir three would be seven, 14, 21. So seven times 30 is 210. And finally in this box, we have our final seven times four, which would be seven, 14, 20, 128. So 28, great, awesome. Now, one thing is that students, when they do this, they think, oh, goody, I'm finished. There's my work, right? I did the problem. But the problem is they're almost there, but they haven't arrived at the official product. The next step will be to join all those parts together, okay? So making sure we line it up. So we have 600 plus 210 plus 80 plus 28. Zero plus zero plus zero plus eight would be eight ones. 
In the tens place, we have one ten, eight tens, two tens, and that would be 11 tens. So, woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. And then we have 100 plus 600 is 700, plus 200 would be 900. 900. And now we have our final product there. Okay. I'm even going to go ahead and include it up there. But you can see, we arrived at that product again. Okay, so we've done the standard algorithm, we finished the area model, now let's move on to the partial products method. Okay, so partial products, let's rewrite it. We've got 34 times 27. The way that I usually do this is I like to break apart, the, I take the first one and I write 34, and then I say that we're gonna multiply that by 20, and then 34 and breaking apart 27 and multiplying it by seven. So you can see here, we took the 27 and we broke it down. Now some people like to even break down the 30 and break down the four. You can definitely do that too. But this one I think is a little bit more simple that you're just breaking down one factor, which means that we're using the distributive property of multiplication where we break one factor down. We know for 34 times 20 that we have, we're gonna have a zero in that ones place, right? Because we've got a zero right here. So then we're gonna move over to, and everything, zero times four is gonna be zero, zero times the three is gonna be zero. So we can just move on over and say there's a zero there. Okay, so now we're gonna multiply two tens times four, okay? So that would be two, four, six, eight, eight, okay? Or 80. And then two times three, or 20 times 30, we've got two, four, six, that would actually be 600. So 680 would be part of our product, hence the name partial product. And now we're going to find the other part of the product. So here we, on this one, 34 times seven, we have seven times four, that would be seven, 14, 20, 128. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. Seven times three, seven, 14, 21. Stop there, 21 plus two is 23. There's part of the product, there's part of the product. To get the final product, what do we need to do? That's right, we need to join them. So 680 plus 238, there we go. And then we just add them up. Eight tens plus three tens is 11 tens. Woo, it's high up here, nice landing, dude. 100 plus 600 is 700. 700 plus 200 is 900, and again, we arrive at our final product of 918, which, again, look at that. 918 is real close to our estimation of 900. So those are three different ways. Now, if you are looking for more support on multi-digit multiplication, whether it be two digits times two digits, or four digits times one digit, or three digits times two digits, I really encourage you to check out what's coming next because I'm about to point you in the direction for even more support for this skill and other skills, so stay tuned. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. It's an easy way to support the content that I bring to you for free on YouTube. If you're a teacher or a parent, especially in Florida, you'll definitely want to check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Here is where I offer fast math freebies, including a playlist of fast math style problems and video lessons to support your teaching. For those ready to dive deeper, check out Taken on the Best, a monthly membership packed with video lessons, student guides, extra practice, error analysis videos, math tasks, mini assessments, and much more, which are all strategically aligned to Florida's best standards. With three levels, bronze, silver, and gold, you can choose the support that best fits your needs to promote student growth and skill mastery. Would you like to take taking on the best for a test drive? You can sample one standard per grade to find the right plan for you. Do that by simply requesting a free trial. And if you're gearing up for the final fast math assessment of the school year, 
Definitely check out Taking on the Fast, a 15-day countdown series with video lessons and fast-style math problems. Start with a sneak peek of day one, and when you're ready, you can make a one-time purchase. And if you're thinking about the gold plan for taking on the best, good news, taking on the fast is included in your membership. While many of my followers are in Florida, I know that there are teachers and parents everywhere looking for support. That's why I created McCarthy Math 155 with 155 video lessons for each grade level, third, fourth, and fifth. You can also sign up for a free trial to McCarthy Math 155 to explore it before signing up for a monthly membership. And finally, if you've enjoyed my math music videos on YouTube, you can also jam out to ad-free versions on my website. You can find all the links below and please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and make the world a little bit brighter in your own special way. See you next time.